Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Friday, July the 24th. Well, a uh, small-bodied candle today, a green-bodied candle, and uh, this candle is uh, suggesting that the bulls have made a smaller net gain than they had, have on the previous day, and uh, that says something about the quality of the uh, trend that the market is now in, that the uh, the bulls certainly aren't as eager as they uh, previously were. Um, but the size of the body is still fairly um, a bit larger than some of these candles when we were approaching their resistance area. And uh, still a fairly large body candle in relation to the whole size of the range. The uh, body of the candle is uh, roughly about 50% of the size of the range, so... Um, it's not um you know, it's bullish but not um not as weak as one might think um the good thing is that the market is closed up near the uh, high which means the bulls are in control and uh they're trying to um uh, show some commitment to uh, taking this market higher now we still have a first time frame uptrend we still have a higher high and a higher low so the trend in the first time frame is still up we haven't had a change of trend at the moment now this um, uh, candle forms uh, what's a, uh, known as a, um, a, a potential tweezers top reversal pattern and that's when the highs of the two candles um, uh, beside each other or um, within relative uh, distance to each other have the same high. Uh, basically uh, it's a potential reversal pattern because it means that the bulls weren't strong enough to um, close the market substantially up above the previous high. And that says something about the quality of the trend at the moment. Uh, so we've just taken out the high just slightly, but um, within a certain range. This is a potential uh, tweezers top pattern. Now, uh, we need confirmation of this pattern. It's not a uh, reversal pattern until we have evidence. And the evidence will be if the market takes out the low of the current candle. Now, just looking at our Ichimoku indicators, we're trading up above the cloud of the Kuma, which means that the market has a positive bias to it. And we know that the market has been, uh, since we broke out of the cloud, we've had all green candles, and we still have green candles, which uh, really is, uh, you know, it's all quite positive for this market. If there is a pullback, um, one tends to think that the pullback will not uh, trade all the way down to uh, these, this swing low here. There will be some sort of retracement of this first time frame uptrend. Now just looking at the other indicators, we're trading up above both the um, the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen and they crossed over. Now they did cross over within the cloud and where they cross over is fairly important in Ichimoku terms. Crossing over within the cloud means that, um, that, that it was a neutral signal, not a very strong signal. The strongest signal is if the crossover is above the cloud. Um, but certainly not a negative. A negative signal is down below the cloud. So not a weak signal. Um, looking at the Tenkan Sen, it's pointing up very, very sharply, which means that the market has a lot of upside momentum in this very small time frame. And we can see that by looking at the uh, quality of the trend here, that the, we're making continually making higher highs and higher lows. There's no congestion whatsoever. So we're very, very um, efficient moving trend here. And that's reflected in the Tenkan Sen. Now, interestingly, though, looking at the Kijun Sen, the Kijun Sen has turned flat. And what happens when the Kijun Sen turns flat is that it tends to be an attractor of price action. The Kijun Sen turning flat means that the market is now starting to move into equilibrium. By the market um, moving into equilibrium, we mean that the market will have some sort of a pause from this previous phase that it was in. And it was in a trending phase. The market was in disequilibrium. The further that it moves away from these indicators, it means that the, the uh, further the um, level of disequilibrium away from the indicators. And we know that um, the markets move from equilibrium to disequilibrium and back, and they'll move in a pattern. And there's every chance that this market will come back, that the market will retrace part of this, this upswing. And especially now that the Kijun Sen has turned flat, so that makes the low of the current candle even more important next week. That will be a confirmation of 
the tweezers top pattern if it does happen, but it will also mean that the market is likely to pull back either towards the Tenkan Sen, which is at 9.38 at the moment, or towards the Kijun Sen, which is at 9.24 at the moment. So there's a strong chance that that will happen. If any of those areas fail to hold, then we should look to the cloud or the, uh, the Kumo to hold as an area of support. So there's potential for the market to trade down to there, which is roughly around 9.22, 9.23. But the first area that we should look at if we do have a pullback in the first time frame would be the tank and scene. Now, that doesn't mean that it will happen. So we need to focus on the low of the current candle, and then we need to focus on the high. If the high is taken out in a bullish candle, then the market will continue in its very, very strong uptrend. But we know that these trends can't continue indefinitely. Markets need to pause. They can't just continue trending up very strongly as this has done. So uh, keep an eye on those levels for next week.